look to therapy. We'll first study the effects of electrical currents. Um, there's a thermal effects such as in diathermy. Um, there's also physiochemical effects and uh, the effects of the electrical currents in the body does create some ionizing effects especially with uh, monophasic. Um, and some, you'll see that some of the indications for uh, electrical therapy is uh, bacterial side. And then finally, physiological effects uh, does uh, t uh, change the membrane potential, makes it more excitable, as well as making it um, exhausting the muscle so that it doesn't um, don't want to fire anymore, as well as um, it also excites nerve stimulation. So we're just talking about some of the electrical principles. Uh, the electron is the fundamental particle of matter containing a negative electrical charge and a very little mass. Um, electrical charge is the quantity of the electricity. That's measured in coulombs. That's a unit of electrical charge. Indicates the number of electrons. So if an atom has given up an electron, it is positive. If an atom has gained an electron, it is negative. Electrical charge is uh, the opposites attract, so it's sort of like a magnet. You put two positive ends together and they're going to repel. If you put two uh, a positive and negative, then uh, it's going to attract the current. So current always flows from positive to negative. Uh, electrical current is the flow of electrons between two points. An amp free is the unit of current. One amp equals one coulomb per second. And in, to have a current, one must have a source of electrons, a material that allows passage of electrons, and the driving force of electrons, or voltage. And voltage is the potential difference necessary to move one amp free of current against resistance of one ohm. So electrons move from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. And resistance is the opposition to the flow of electrons or current flow. Conductors allow easy flow, which are low resistance, while insulators are not conductive and are a high resistance. And semiconductors are neither good nor poor. So factors that affect the amount of resistance in a conductor is, number one, the material. The greater number of the electrons, the less resistance. The length, the longer the conductor, the more resistance. The temperature, the warmer, more, the, warmer the more resistance and cross-sectional area. The wider the conductor, the less resistance. So what are some keys to minimizing resistance? Number one is keeping the skin electroresistance to a minimum. And how do you do that? Uh, well, you can use the shortest pathway for electron flow and use the largest electrode that will selectively stimulate target tissues, so smaller electrodes increase more resistance because electrons don't have much room to flow. Resistance applies to direct current. Uh, resistance versus impedance. Resistance applies to direct current while impedance applies to alternating current. So really the only direct current we use in our uh, electrical stimulation is a uh, monophasic and everything else is alternating current such as quad polar bipolar what that means is the polarity switches from each pad negative to positive so impedance increases in the resistance of edema ischemia arthrosclerosis scarring or denervation um, impedance de decreases in the presence of wounds and abrasions so resistance in Ohm's law. Ohm is a unit of resistance, so one ohm will limit current flow to one amp when the voltage is one volt. Uh, so Ohm's law states that voltage equals uh, current in amperes times resistance in ohms. Okay, so some types of electrical current. As I said, monophasic or direct current. This is uninterrupted and unidirectional flow of electrons towards the positive flow. Pole. It's also called galvanic or direct current when current flows in one direction for at least one second. And most machines allow for reversal of the direction of the current flow. So you'll see on our machines that you can actually switch 
which uh, the, you can um, make the uh, positive, the typically the negative electrode, the positive, and, and vice versa. Um, and a lot of times if you see something like in a study and they'll say they used a galvanic current, what they're talking about is monophasic current. A biphasic or alternating current is a bidirectional current which flows both to negative and positive poles. And it can be symmetrical or asymmetrical.